and we are live. What the fuck is up, every pony? Hello. All right. Well, don't like this place. It's it's a plenty finder. Uh, it's, it, I'll buy it for a million dollars. <laughs> oh my God! Donald Trump's joining our game. <laughs> um. So. I, well, it's been a little bit since uh, we were last uh, together, um, but last time uh, you guys made your way to uh, Silver Dream. Uh, a little bit of a, a dire circumstance to try and get through the front door, but uh, you just about managed it uh, without being seduced or, or crushed. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but uh, once you uh, made it in, it was well, very nice and peaceful. Uh, experience you wouldn't you wouldn't really think there's a massive war going on outside the other side of the walls mm. <clears throat> where literally the city is uh, fighting for its life uh, but you wasted no time at all and uh, made your way directly for the citadel uh, to go and see um, the arch May uh, Magos mm -hmm. And uh, I believe with uh, some conversations with with her, um, you've you've learned that you can't just walk there, uh, you can't just teleport there. Uh, so you're going for high altitude teleportation and fall into Earth or yes. Everglow. But you were provided with, well, some of you were provided with protection. <coughs> Uh, or some sort of protection and um, uh, though I'm struggling a little bit with it as uh, in some cases perhaps the armor is controlling you more than you are controlling the armor uh, but you have opted to rest prepare yourselves as uh, you did just have to fight for your life to uh, get into this place and you are going to uh, make a fresh attempt um, to make it to the Stag Lord starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I believe you have um, made it uh, all gone back to the tavern which is called the Platinum Knight and are either resting there um, uh, getting used to your armor or any any else of your many things that you guys can choose to get up to um, you will be secured some I want to say snap leaf but I don't know if that was correct I believe that was correct yeah so yeah. you're gonna be getting some snap leaf so you don't just go splat as you land <laughs> but uh, you do more or less have the uh, free reign of the uh, Silver Dream. Right. I, I also realize I do have my boots, the cat, if anyone wants those that uh, you know doesn't have the armor. Uh, I believe most of that is consistent with your uh, Milk Thistle and the... Oh, Wishful Pen and the NPCs are the ones you can mm -hmm. donate that to. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to check in with the, uh, you know, if Milk wanted that or if I should donate to one of the NPCs. Uh, milk would politely decline. Uh, let's see, do I have, uh, what? yeah, okay. There's what uh, boots the cat do. Yep. So basically, you you always get the minimal amount of a fall damage. Uh, in this case, you also, will, also... Uh, as Pathfinder does have a limit on the amount of fall damage you take. Uh, that would be twenty. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, also, also has like the cape, cape ma the cape um been um charged yet? Uh, which cape was that? Sorry, the magic item that basically get allows me to cast 
Wait, no, there's not a cave, it's a crystal. Um, allows me to cast lay, lay on hands, but it has to be charged by someone who has it. Oh, uh, you just need to ask somebody to charge it for you, if you have not yet. Yeah. Okay. So, probably okay, last night you would uh, ask, like, Wishful or someone to... Uh... Well, we, you, we're not kind of at the night yet. It's you, You've okay. got chances to do stuff in the town and what have you. I believe the only person who can charge it is Steel, unless uh, Channel Energy is also one that uh, will work. I think it just said someone that has Leo Hands. Let's double check. Ah. Okay, well, uh, Leon Hands in particular, then yeah, Steel would have to be the one to do it. Uh, uh, yeah. Steel would be more than happy to um, lend his power and will charge it for you. Alexander, I would if he had it. Uh, so when you activate it, um, it basically will um, act just like if uh, Steel had cast uh, Lay on Hands or Lay on Hoofs. Alright, cool. Um, as you guys are w uh, within um, the ta well, uh, I say tavern. It's it's more very a, a, a very high establishment of a hotel. Uh, um, you appear to be the only guests, and um, they are. When you're not in your rooms, um, there is always a servant nearby, uh, should you wish to ask uh, for anything. It's like uh, you are being given the uh, VIP treatment. Yeah. yeah. Meta, yeah. like, never, ne n never ask for one. <laughs> nope, you still got one. Yeah, I think I will give uh, Boots of the Cat to uh, Wishful, since, you know, she's our healer. That is... And awesome. keeping her alive is uh, generally top priority. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe um, Wishful already says she's already got her own snap leaf, but she will take it anyway. Well, better to be safe than sorry. You know, there might be more times that she'll have to fall. She looks at you and goes, oh, I hope not. I don't really enjoy falling. I'd much rather keep my hips on the, on the ground. Yeah, trust me, uh, I, I understand that. Kind of gestures to uh, himself with armor and such. Yeah, I never really understood how Pegasi like flying so much. Yeah. I can't even understand how uh, Pegasi Earth uh, or Gem Ponies fly. <laughs> Given the extra weight and such. I don't think I've really seen any Pegasi Gem Ponies thinking about it. Though Gem Ponies are a little bit rare. That's true. See, is there anything else that I have that I can't wear? Uh... Oh yeah, I can just uh, give my things to Wishful if I recall correctly. Yeah, if you click on the item, there'll be like a little, um, yeah, the little like present-looking thing that will give a give the item. Yeah. I did just steal the um, uh, boots of the cat. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, perfect. Then. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the only things inks I can I can give away are, are my are my spare lance and my studded leather armor and that's it. Um, no one really is specialized with lance lances and um, I think everybody else already has armor what they probably can make use of yeah 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 i thought so uh you can always choose to leave it behind so it doesn't weigh you down but you 
do not have to. We do plan on returning the golem armor, so I don't think it'd be an issue to leave our weapons behind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say, like, you know, uh, still wear your armor under the golem, like. Uh, I I yeah, think yeah I would I, I I I would agree with that. Well, I think the leather armor isn't what they normally wear. It's they wear that full. Oh, wear that. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize that a character they had leather armor though. So. <laughs> oh well, you never know when you what, might want to go. What the golem? Sorry. I just, I, I, I just, I just heard like someone say golems wear leather armor. Like what? No, I, I thought you had leather armor that you were sell or trying to give to someone. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sadly, no one can make use of it. So you are either going to be carrying it around as an extra, or you leave it behind. Or, or a third option, I can sell it. <laughs> yeah, you can. That is a perfectly uh, acceptable option. Yeah, I, I have some stuff that I could probably sell. Uh... Um, and then... Uh, uh... If you do choose to sell the leather armor, um, you are quite certain you can get 12 gold and 5 silver for it. Okay. Uh, can I make uh, what 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 check I can make to haggle? Um, generally, it's diplomacy. Okay. So you um. Uh, you begin to attempt to haggle with the uh, individual. Um, it's quite clear you are uh, skilled um, in such a thing, and you are able to talk them up uh, to to them buying it for fourteen gold pieces. Okay, better, better than nothing. Well, he still has to make money and uh, to feed his children. Yeah. The more he gives you, the more it eats into his profit margins. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, I know that. <laughs> the poor starving commoner. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Well, this is like silver dream, so... <laughs> Every almost every every everyone's corrupt here. Um, the uh, one thing about Silver Dream because I don't think you've been here before. Um... I have. Oh, um, you have once. Oh, okay, so yeah, once though. Yeah, you do get the sense of uh, Silver Dream is overpopulated. Um, you've got the nice looking sort of buildings, but then people have built kind of shacks on top of them to help expand things out. So. Um, there is like a lower level of very finity and then up above it because obviously they can only go up they've got like shack bits which does mean you know in the more densely packed areas it's a bit of a you probably wouldn't want to go there mm -hmm. around the center it's fairly nice but the closer you the further uh, away you get from the citadel the uh, uh the nicety does fade away Um, does anyone go in, uh, exploring other than just selling the odd little bits and pieces or is anyone going to t attempt to look for any equipment or items uh, I, I was thinking about uh, buying some potions because uh, there, there's not a whole lot else I can uh, get but yeah, yeah, yeah there's not much I can get either no that's fine 
um, giving you guys the options because this is very possible the last chance to purchase anything you want. Yeah. As there's no telling if uh, uh, you will find a magical shop that will pop up in the middle of uh, uh, the final dungeon. Mm -hmm. uh, Chances see, are not yeah. high. Yeah. Yeah, I'll sell some of my basic uh, equipment and uh, use what money I have to buy uh, potions. All right. Um, stand things like um, armor, weapons, uh, and stuff like that are sold at half price. Um, yeah. Generally speaking, and, and that's what you will get for anything general you're going to be selling. Uh, anything which is considered probably a trade good or you know uh, trade good or has some value to it then you possibly would sell that for full price yeah uh, let's see I got a masterwork uh, great axe so that would be 150 plus the or one six or yeah 160 because I call it directly uh, no, it's 300 for a masterwork uh, weapon, right? Um, yeah, weapons, it's 300 for masterwork. Armor, it's 150. Yeah, so. Which always surprised me. I would have thought the uh, armor would be the more expensive one. <laughs> well, you get a better benefit from uh, masterwork and a weapon than armor. This is true, but, I mean, logically thinking with uh, how... You know... Resources and stuff like that, and the fact that it would be custom fitted if it was master work normally, <laughs> you would have thought it cost more. Uh, what are the chances that we need our outfit cold weather gear? Uh, probably not likely. I do have cold weather gear, but if we need to um, cast that spell that lets us resist elements then uh, we can cast that. Uh, Wishful gives a nod. Oh yes, I've got um, castings of that as well. Uh, 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 enjoy elements right. is uh, what you're thinking of. Yeah, right. I think I'll just leave that, leave that behind. And now, and now my weight is light load, so that helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, getting under, getting into the light load actually makes can make a big difference, in some cases. Not always. I would. Um, I was always sick and tired of get of being medium. <laughs> I, I guess that's what I get for playing a um, front line aim fighter type of character. <laughs> Um, as um, I believe uh, uh, Alex and uh, Metal Banana, are you both walking around together or are you going separately? Uh, I was going to say, knowing the last time I was in the city uh, alone, uh, I think I would go with... I was about uh, to say. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think you were there when I got kidnapped here. No, 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 but you, like, definitely 100% told, told Metal about it, so... <laughs> That's why she is wary of the, of this town. Yeah, the uh, stories of when you lost your ear um, definitely uh, have uh, been uh, said multiple times. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you guys are going around shopping, um, you do have a probably a little bit of a sketchy pony who will uh, step out... Uh, as you're possibly going to look for potions to purchase and we'll ask the pair of you um, if you want to buy any sugar cubes mm, no thanks uh, actually you know what? I'll send my first before I you know assume it's drug uh, sorry are you broke up a little bit what did you say there uh, I was starting to say no thank you but then I was like oh wait let me send motor first before I assume it's drugs oh, okay it's definitely drugs, dude. Yeah, I, 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 I know out of character it's drugs, but. Um. 
I mean, I, he seems quite genuine in the fact he wants to sell you sugar cubes. Uh, I mean, no, thank you. Are you, are you sure? First one's free. Uh, yes, I don't need sugar cubes. Thank you, though. How about uh, 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 oh, 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 I say I sell you uh, like a knuckle oh, 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 hoof. Oh, a hoof if you ask me again. Uh, all right, no problem. I don't want any trouble. Just just selling the merchandise. As uh, he uh, moves away from you. Um. Other than that, uh, you guys will get, you know, looks and stares as you walk through being all uh, glowy. Uh, actually, are you walking around in your uh, column armor? Uh, no, no, because no, if it's the night time, then we still have to sleep. And I don't want to get in and out of that thing again if I can't get, you know. If you can't also, get. like, there is, also, there is a thing I want to meet with Golden Hoof right, right after. All right. Um, so yeah, um, you're not harassed anymore, uh, though you do get lots of uh, odd looks and stuff, and you know people pointing, staring. Mm -hmm. um, nowhere near as big as um, uh, View to Town. Obviously, out here, your your divineness hasn't sort of reached it its peak yet, or um, oh, yeah, or any uh, anywhere drastic. Um, you'll make your way to the potion shop. Um, it definitely looks more. Uh, professional and uh, clean and tidy um, compared to the other sort of potion shops you guys have been to um, and they do have a sort of a wide selection of different types of potions you could buy all right uh, I think mostly uh, healing potions are probably the best thing that we can go for uh, well he definitely mm -hmm. says there's plenty of that. They're always popular ones, so they're always in stock. Uh, what level of healing were you thinking of? Uh, I, I think, uh, let's see, I got about 900 gold on me, so probably three level two potions of healing. Uh, Assuming that the cleric is doing this. Uh, they're, they're the best ones to get it from. Alright then, yeah. Three, level two. Three, level two, so... Um, so three level twos, um, he will say that will be... Yep, um, 900 gold pieces, please. Alright. There goes all my money. And uh, you will have uh, three very nicely blue-coloured potions. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually, while I'm here, I do have a uh, potions of uh, greater fang. Looks of it that I can sell. Uh, yeah, he will. He will buy them off you. All right. Um, that's what level spell is that? Uh, let me see here. Magic fang greater. Ooh, greater. Uh, that is a level three. Level three. Well, um, he would buy that off you for three hundred and seventy-five gold. All right. Uh, he will then right. uh, go. Do you do you want a fourth healing potion? Uh, potion? sure. And let's get a uh, lesser one as well. Ah, uh, he will slide over the additional. Uh, uh, two potions and uh, will give you 15 gold. Yeah. Change? Yeah. All right. Uh, do I'll come back again. Come back. Uh, I will. Hopefully. Well, you should have enough healing potions to make it back. All right, and I think that's me prepared. Uh, 
Uh, did you want to get anything, um, um, Metal Banana? Uh, she just only grabs like two more, two more rations, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't really have much options. Oh, that's fine. So you just buy two rations, which is one gold. I, I was gonna say, do you have uh, money for potions? I have, I have money for a minor for a level one potion. Yeah. Well, now, now would be the time to do it. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just grab one, one uh, minor. One cure, cure light. Yep, that is yeah, fifty gold light. pieces. Fifty. Oh, 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 that's way cheaper than I thought. I'll, I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll grab. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab two then. Two, so one hundred. Uh, do you guys know how to add um, potions onto your sheet? I was. I, I thought I did, but I can't seem to find it. I already have one that's crossed out for some reason. Oh, that's because you haven't got any left. So if you just hit the plus and add two, uh, but so press the plus twice, that should give you two. There we go. Okay, uh, good to know. And so the straight up delete in it. Yeah, so it, it's kind of an item which you're going to have often. It's quite kind of good that you just drop it down until it's crossed out because it's on your sheet, but it won't count as being active or anything like that for you. Um, okay. We're moving 100 gold for my sheet. Yeah, uh, Alex, you also got... also what also, also plus one more gold for the rations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so you got cure moderate wounds. So yes. I'm dragging the spell onto your thing. You purchased it as a. Oh, it tells me how much it is. Um... There you go. So you've got one That's on your it. sheet now. So you just need to t tap it up. Do you have a cure light on there? I do not. Okay, one cure light. There you go. Sort out. Yeah, so all you do is you actually find the spell, drag it into your um, um, infantry, and it will ask you if you want it as a spell, scroll, uh, sorry, a potion, scroll, or wand. And you pick which one you want. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't think. You know, I wish she hasn't. She does have money, but. Um, I think Steel gave a lot of his wands and stuff to Milk Thistle. Okie dokie. Um, Metal Banana, you said you wanted to do something. Oh, yeah. Um,. Yeah. Uh, where did that guy said Ed um, Golden Hoof was at again? Uh, I believe uh, they said in the Citadel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be like looking for him, but I also ditch, ditch um, Alexander. <laughs> well, I mean, right. you, I mean, if you were. If you guys were heading back, um, you could very easily sort of go to the Citadel rather than going back to the Platinum Knight if you wanted to. Uh, yeah. Um, as you go to enter the Citadel, um, you, you are stopped at the guard post. Um, you are allowed to come in, though they do ask, um, uh, what are you uh, wanting to do? Visiting a friend. I heard he was here. Uh, who's your friend? Yeah. <laughs> uh, with that, they will check. Uh, their... Oh, sorry. I thought you said. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she just said a fellow, a fellow colleague. And we are, and uh, what is their name? Uh, Golden Hoof. <laughs> One moment. Uh, they go over, they seem to check their records, and they go, ah, oh, yes, they're in the um, central tower, floor five, section two. Uh, we'll have somebody take you okay. there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> um, they go, uh, you do not have any restrictions, but uh, uh, you're 
friend does. Uh, try not to uh, lead them away from uh, their designated area. Right. Uh, with that, um, somebody will basically take you to that section because they assume you don't know your way around. Um, you are taken to one of the libraries, um, one of many to be in fact, um, full of sort of many books look from all over the place is the best way you can do it some look newer some look quite old and many many in between um, there's a few ponies in here um, they do uh, seem to be the sort of scholarly type ones maybe the odd looking sort of wizardy one uh, that are in here and this library is quite large uh, it covers um, your best guess is three floors and um, there's uh, various balconies that allow you to obviously get to the different sections of it. It's uh, <clears throat> it's obviously one of their more uh, grander libraries, uh, you would assume. Uh, there's also a number of many uh, very large uh, paintings as well. Um, the individuals appear to be they look quite sinister. Um, clearly, somebody who um, feels they've they want to basically capture a very intimidating look, and you also get the sense of as you move around the room that some of the paintings' eyes continuously follow you no matter where you are, or when you look at them at the painting, you feel that it's looking directly at you back into your soul. Uh, well, 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 Metal does says, says in her mind, and she, she hopes she doesn't have to come back here, ever. <laughs> uh, but you do have a large, uh, uh library. Uh, your escort brings you to the room, uh, but that's as far as they, they do, and then they leave you at the room. Hey, okay, I look around the room. Do you know what they look like? Um, I, I'm assuming they wear, uh, um, they wear the like, a, 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 um, the banner. All right. So you're looking for the banner. Roll me perception. Okay. Or like in like uniform. Yeah. Uh, roll me perception. Okay. Perception. Perception. Where the hell is perception? Uh, your skills are in hey, alphabetical what? order, so it's. Uh, in the P section. All right, so your well-trained eyes uh, don't take you too long to come across um, somebody who uh, does have the uh, symbol on. Um, though they're not wearing armor, they appear to be wearing more robes, the sort of thing you would normally wear during your downtime when you're off duty and but you are still remaining in uniform uh, they are on one of the um, upper balconies they, uh, they appear to be um, sat at some of the uh, chairs there and uh, they've got a small pile of books and they appear to be reading Yeah, she's just gonna like uh, uh, a approach him, him, and just like um, 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 and just like say, uh, are you are you going hoof? Um, he looks up and like, um, straight up. <laughs> uh, yeah, he 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 looks up and. Uh, 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 looks to you and uh, uh, sort of seems a bit surprised to uh, uh, to see you um, and sort of goes um, uh, uh, yes I, 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 I am uh, 
Mm -mm. All right, uh, good. But, um, <clears throat> I was, I, I was, I was told you were here. Um, well, you were told correctly, um, ma'am. Uh, he kind of gets to um, his hoofs and sort of stands up a little bit at attention. Um, can I uh, help you, or do you need my assistance? Just like need need someone to hold on to some information. Uh, I can certainly do that for you. Okay. Okay. Well, well, you might want to sit down. It's, it's going to be a long, long story. Uh, with you telling them that he can, in a sense, relax, he, he will sit down. Is it actually like, like because I'm higher rank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 seeing, seeing that he's like standing in attention, and, 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 and Metu will say like, 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 Relax. X X X. We're not in a training field. Uh, uh, understood, ma'am. But uh, obviously, uh, protocol dictates uh, until you uh, specifies otherwise. I should. We should treat it as such. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you're definitely new. Okay. <laughs> So she does actually like um she actually like um tells him about like everything that happened with the like the stag law to the ruminants. Yeah, and ruminant. Just, yeah. And just like like um in a way to like like um if he if he like does like get back to base to like to like report this to his superiors. <laughs> Um, in the process of us, you obviously tell him the story, he, he does go, I mean, I did get some of this through uh, travels at uh, uh, Viltertown, and uh, uh, someone pointed me in the direction of uh, of this place that might hold uh, well, forgotten knowledge that, uh, <coughs> that um, well, we might be able to dig up. Um, t I was given a... Uh, uh, a token from the uh, from the order uh, that sh granted me entrance uh, here. Uh, and how's your research been so far? Uh, there's a a lot to go through. I'm I'm checking sort of uh, more obscure texts at the moment. Um, it was kind of foolish to start with the sort of more obvious things, which didn't really teach me anything new. <clears throat> Though the um, I've definitely seen the uh, term ruminant come up a few times. <clears throat> I will have to uh, widen my search uh, with anything what relates to them. Uh, at the moment, I've mostly been trying to see what I can find about. Uh, demons and uh, any reference to the uh, abnormal weather that uh, well seems to be everywhere else but in here <clears throat> as well as some of the other uh, additional bits of information that I've uh, uh, learned and <clears throat> Uh, um, did um, did your research woman and say anything about their living style? Um, no, I. Everything's been kind of light. Ruminants. All I know is that they were an ancient civilization that were here uh, way before ponies and even the the um, uh, the cats. Um, possibly when uh, elves. And the dwarves were were more active. Um, I've been trying to uh, look for more ancient uh, elven text or dwarven text that might contain information, uh, but at least I've not come across anything in this section at the moment. 
and I might have to try and get uh, get into a, a different library potentially for them. Well, well, uh, good. I'm good luck with that. They're pretty strict here. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, I've been told. What I should like write. What I should like library do? Would you like want me to look at? I don't have any restriction here. Um, I I don't know. I would. I would suggest asking at the uh, main desk. Perhaps you might even be able to uh, if you've got no. If you've got full access, perhaps you can request uh, me to have access to uh, a section. Because it'll take a yeah. while to uh, uh, dig for it and uh, get past the uh, uh, well, the useless stuff into something which might be of more use. Um. How long were you in this city for? Uh, you guys are planning to leave in the morning, so not long. You wouldn't have enough time to do any proper research. No, no, no. I meant, uh, I'm, I meant like for him. They're not letting anyone leave at the moment, so I'm here until until I can leave, I suppose. But I suppose I've I've not found anything of substance that helps. So I can stay here until I've learned some. Well, though, what you've given me, ma'am, is, uh, well, I could probably go back with just that. But uh, at the moment, uh, no one's allowed in or out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's because there's a lot of, lot of things going out there. Well... From what you said, it sounds pretty bad. Yeah. So, so, so my suggestion: if 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 you have armor, wear that weather constantly because you don't know when the a city's going to be attacked. Well, I have a room here in the citadel um, that I'm restricted to, other than outside here. Uh, that's where my equipment is at the moment. I would have thought the citadel will be probably the, one of the strongest places to be. So I should have time to re-equip it if necessary. Yeah, hey, good to hear. <clears throat> yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. Oh, uh, this might be our last conversation. First and last conversation. Well. Um. Is there anything you would want me to uh, take back to? Uh, uh, Las Palominos if um, if I make it back mm. well well hard well um hard to say hey, but uh, um, but everything in you uh, I, I, I need to tell you you already know so the rest would be just personal Understood. Uh, but do but but do let let them know if if I don't return soon, then I'm most likely dead. Uh, he has not um, understood. Um, um, is that is that everything, um, Lieutenant? Yeah. That's all. Well, I will get back to uh, my research for now, and uh, perhaps I will see you uh, again before uh, uh, before you leave. Perhaps, uh, if not, then um, uh, uh, Lieutenant Clumsy, I will I will hopefully see you again in the future. Well, least le le least likely. Um, unfortunately, going in the mouth, the uh, mouth of the beast. In my next mission, it's a suicide mission. So, well, 
will it uh, will it help fulfil your uh, uh, your oaths? Yes. Well, it it will be a worthy mission then. I'm certain. The sacrifice we 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 one day have to make. Well, we all know that uh, there's always the possibility that we will have to make the ultimate sacrifice for our duty. She'll actually like um tap tap golden hoof hoof on a shoulder on shoulder and it's like um take care uh, you too ma'am i wish you all the best in uh in your endeavors and uh hope that you uh, uh your shield remains sturdy And 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 let your and and I hope hope, hope your your shield would, would will will guide you home safely. Uh, he gives a a nod of respect, and um, unless you make it um, uh, clear otherwise, uh, he will go back to his reading. Um, yeah, yeah, that yeah. She said, she said at everything that she needed to say to him. Um, I forgot to make uh, mention that he did have a like uh, a notebook or journal in a sense, and uh, when you spoke to him, he was noting it down in his journal. Yeah. So yeah, not, yeah. Ooh. She. Pardon. I was gonna say so. He's not trying to all memorize it. He has it written down. <laughs> uh. I gotcha. Uh, uh, I gotcha. Um, um, she would also like I can mention in, in um, 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 keep that at at gen general safe. Ponies around here like like to oh, 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 have a habit of of pick pickpocketing. Oh, I, I not, I had not noticed anything like that in this in the citadel. I know the streets outside are not the uh, can sometimes not be the friendliest, depending on where you go. But I, I've not seen any issues here. But I will keep that in mind. Uh, thank you for the warning. Good, good. Okay, with that, you leave. <laughs> you leave. Oh yeah, uh, Steel, how much was the damage reduction uh, by again for the uh, armor? Um, oh, did I not put that on your sheet? Yeah, so, well, I was going to throw it on quickly while... Uh, yeah, uh, let me find my sticky note with the master information of the armor. Oh, and was there oh, anything fine. else? Um, magic resistances or...? Um, so... You do, uh, so you've got um, DR10 Alamantine. Okay. And uh, you have, um, at the moment, uh, resistant uh, 10 to uh, cold electricity and fire. All right. Cold electricity and fire. Should add that to everybody else who ten. <coughs> um, anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. Okay, no, it's fine. Um, the metal banana. Um, as you head out um is there anything you want to do before you leave the citadel um i would see if i can if if i can grant golden hoof 
any more access. So they will ask, um, what access would you uh, would you like to request for him? Um, like what is like the uh, uh library level? Oh, 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 like, like, um, oh, out of like character, like, 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 is there like level one access to like normal, normal oh, oh, books or level two? Uh, so you asked that in character or out of character, sorry. A out of character. Um, so you're not sure what level of access that library is? Um, so you would be uncertain what stages of uh, authorization there are here, as no one's really explained how it works. So you would be uncertain. Okay, um, she would just say um, if if she was wondering if she could grant uh, grant a little more access for her friends. <laughs> They uh, look at you and go, oh, what uh, sort of access do you uh, want to have them granted? Uh, uh, just, just to study more um, better books, I guess. Uh, what sort of uh, books do they want to study? Okay, he said he wanted to... What he said he wanted to study on? <laughs> Again? Can you remember? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, of course I can remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <what> <laughs> uh, so, uh, he did mention that he wants to study more ancient texts, uh, text of elven and dwarven um, eras. And also, he also wanted to study demons as well. Um, uh, that's kind of what he's kind of been doing at the moment, based on the books you did see him uh, sat okay. uh, reading okay. or uh, had access to. Okay, uh, oh, 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 okay then. Um, she would say um, if, if she can grant him access to more um, elven or dwarven in um, writing, what you said. They sort of listen and they go. We will see. Um, we will see about uh, granting him additional access to those sort of uh, books. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, can she like sense motive if, if they're like? Yeah. You know, um, not in like a killing mood. Like, <laughs> like um, he is like gonna die or anything. Like. Oh, yeah, you you can um, um, you can uh, make a sense motive check for that. Um, so you, you get the sense. I will. Ooh. I will like roll a surge to make it better. Oh yeah, sure. You can uh, surge it. Uh, a smidgen. Plus it's a one. <laughs> um, so uh, you get the sense motive. Um, no, they don't seem to be like they're they're not. You don't get the sense that they're trying to do anything too harmful. Um, they they're clearly um, um, taking it into consideration as best you can tell. Um, right. You get the feeling that they might grant it to him. Okay. Cool. That. Oh well, she was happy to help. Uh... A uh, fellow knight. She she heads she heads back to um, a room. <laughs> yep. Well, back to the hotel, I guess. Back to the hotel again, which is fair enough. Oh, was, was that what we're one? How much uh, drain I got healed? Sorry. Oh, I was asking, was that one d eight? How much I got healed for the uh, drain? No, that was um, uh, metal bananas uh, surge roll. Oh, okay. 
uh, if somebody heals you for uh, drain damage, um, I believe you um, get it all removed when um, uh, when it's done. Yeah. So there is no roll. Okay. So yeah, I'll either go to uh, metal or not metal, uh, wish holder and uh, or milk whoever's uh, available and can do it before we go to sleep. I think. I think Milkfist was the one who probably has it prepared at the moment. Um, let me double check. So yeah, I just want to get it done before, like, you know, we have to recharge our spells. Uh, yeah, Wishful does not have it prepared for today. All right. Then I'll go see uh, Metal. Or, er, no, no, Metal, Milk. It has been one of those days today. <laughs> it's fine. No worries. All right. Uh, Milk Thistle. Um, Alexandre wishes to um, have his level drain removed as he doesn't like it. Yes. I, I'm not as charismatic as I should be. All right. I oh, it's not level have... drain. It's, it's stat drain, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that costs a whole lot less. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So, restoration. Let's see. All right. I don't have it prepped. Do I have any? Yeah. Okay. I can cast three more spells. All right. So, using inspired spell, mythic surge, casting restoration. Let's see. Is that going to cost a hundred gold or a thousand gold? It would just be a hundred gold. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. That diamond chunk is gone. Use that for Katarina. All right, and with that, I will be going to bed. Understood. Does anybody else wish to do anything uh, for the remainder of the day or at any point? If not, then we will move to the morning. Well, with the morning, I will uh, put on my armor and then put on my other armor. All right. Um, you head down in your armor. Um, the um, They have put out a very nice um, breakfast spread for you um, to um, enjoy um, before you uh, set out for the day. Alexandra realizes, like, oh, how am I supposed to eat in this thing? Yep. Uh, it does not have a mouth hole. Yeah. Alexandra is going to try to will a, like, you know, the head part to kind of uh, open up. All right. Go for it. So that's a will save? Yep. You are willing it to do something. All right. Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. You you feel you like you might need to be a bit more willful. Uh, all right, I I will attempt again. Uh, you get the sense that it, it, you would almost it almost uh, opened a mouth section for you, but not quite. All right, let's not roll worse than a five. Yep. What are we rolling for? Oh, he, he, uh, oh, he, he, all right. So I can eat. All right. So yes, um, you actually are able to um, have the armor peel back enough so your whole head uh, is exposed. So you can even uh, look around and, and see people through your own eyes. Huh? 
Um, you have uh -huh. also felt like you have gained a little bit of dominance over the over your armor. Nice. Ah, that's better. Uh, make a note that you've uh, gained uh, at least one dominance. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that next to the buff. Yeah, works fine. Uh, but now you can uh, sit and eat. Um, as you guys are enjoying breakfast, um, there will be a servant who will come along and will deliver uh, everyone a uh, single uh, snap leaf. Um, they do provide one for for everybody, even those who uh, have um, golem armor. So All right. everybody has one. Cool. Snap leaf. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, does anyone need that item added to their sheet? Because I've got it to hand. Uh, uh, yeah, please. I, I can grab that. Okay. There's your snap leaf. Okay, sweet. Steals. You sit still. Uh, if we like uh, don't use it, do we have to um, give it back to? Uh, are you asking them? Yeah. I I mean it's a rather uh, what you call it cheap item, all things considered. Like yeah, 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 cheap. If if when it's like seven hundred fifty gold, yeah, that's cheap indeed. <laughs> well, it's an item that's meant to be one time use. So like. I don't think they're expecting uh, it back. A uh, very expensive um, one-time use. Could save your life. Um, they do. Um, they seem unsure how to answer that question as you ask them, um, and then uh, he, they finally go, "Well, I, I have not been informed that uh, we need to. You need to return it." Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, she like, she like, with 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 that answer. Yeah. Better to have it than not need it than you know not have it than need it. I mean, like, if she like survives, I, she's most likely gonna sell it. It's. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> wishful goes. I feel like that was a a, a quote from uh, Milk Thistle. <laughs> what was the quote? Uh, better to uh, have it and not need it than need it and not have it. No, actually, Alexandrite says that. Oh, it does he? Okay. Uh, wishful goes. Okay, uh, maybe I'm mistaken then. No, sorry, uh, wishful pen. Yeah. Uh, so you guys um, enjoy a breakfast together. Perhaps your final, well, maybe not your final meal together, but uh, at least your final potential decent meal. Uh, I will, after breakfast, I'll probably uh, go to the courtyard to uh, do my daily uh, whatchamacots, obedience. Yep. And uh, anyone who needs to do um, daily preparations can do. Uh, wishful ooms and ahs over what spells to have prepared for today. Um, need that one. Also, also, Seal, you said we can like wield wield our weapons um, outside of our armor uh, uh, if we like. If we like take off our weapons first and then and then put on armor, then put it on, right? Yes, Is correct. Last one? Yeah. Okay. Um, otherwise, you have to kind of wield the... the armor to do it. Is it actually like the same for lance or just the long sword? I mean, the blaster sword. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of um, the same for uh, both weapons. Um, though with um, 
with the lance you can have it attached to yourself and pointing out without issues um the bastard sword if it's out you won't then be able to sheave it very easily because obviously yeah. it's outside yeah. of your uh body okay okay good to know does hold does have it does have it on hand all the time then yeah it'd be kind of uh, it'd be kind of using your mouth slot for a good portion of uh of it so obviously you can sort of set set it down to talk and stuff or stub it into the ground and and talk or or, or, or otherwise it's most most of the next few series is gonna be <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm just quickly doing wishful spells. Ah, oh, perhaps if I actually press the right button. Oh, did the. All right, so with that, um, with that done, I assume you guys are going to make your way to the Citadel. Yes. All yeah, right. I'll put on my armor then. <laughs> uh, Bef after like having like a big, big breakfast, because yeah. she doesn't know when she's the next time she's going to eat. <laughs> well, you, you have your rations. And uh, potentially uh, milk thistle spells if uh, if you need to. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. I should probably look at how many rations I have. Uh... Ooh, why do you think I bought two more rations? I mean, two rations will only last you two days. Yeah. Yeah, if we end up in a place that blocks spell casting, milk thistle unfortunately won't be helpful. Much help. Much help. Uh, let's see. Open up my. Trying to remember how to open up my backpack. Uh, let me have a look. Uh, uh, so go to your backpack. Press the uh, to the right hand side. You want to press the edit item, and then you have your stuff in your backpack. And I can. Okay, there we are. Like... I had to go to containment. There we go. Yeah. Oh, you have uh, oh, that much food. Yeah, all right. I think I will uh, spend uh, the rest of my 24 gold on uh, rations. All right, so that will get you 50, 50 uh, rations. All right. Uh, okay, everyone, uh, Alex um, is your uh, uh, f food uh, meal. So uh, hopefully uh, you won't go through fifty uh, days worth of food. <laughs> yeah. Though there is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine of you, though. Two of you don't need to eat food. Okay. You um. With that purchased, or well, sorry, the slight detour to the market to quickly grab a load of uh, rations, <clears throat> you then uh, once again make your way to the citadel. All right. Um, this time round, um, they are expecting you, so you don't have to handle uh, or deal with too many questions or answers. Um, and then uh, with that, um, you will be escorted once again to that strange uh, um, platform that uh, moves you uh, vertically uh, until you reach the um, the uh, ceiling, uh, well, the, the upper floors, uh, where you uh, met the uh, Archmaios when uh, she was doing all the spell casting. Uh, this time, however, uh, she will be waiting for you at the top. <clears throat> uh, 
as you exit, uh, she looks at you all and goes, I hope you're all prepared. Where are we going to be? Well, it's a one-way trip, uh, whether you like it or not. So you better be. Well, I take your silence as yes. Follow me. I am just I I am just trying to look for my uh, voice changer for the armor. <laughs> for my armor. <laughs> okay. As ready as we can be. All right. Um, with that, uh, she will lead you up to the roof once again. Um, y this time round, there is a um, uh, there is a different wizard who's standing at the centre. Um, they appear to be doing spell casting, um, though. You get the sense whatever they're doing is nowhere near as powerful as what the Archmagus uh, was doing. Um, you only have to wait like a few sort of a few moments while whatever they are were in the middle of uh, completes, and um, they will step out of the. Um, center area <clears throat> the archmagus then looks to you all and goes step on the platform i will activate the spell this one will only uh move you it won't take me with it do not worry about the armor's resistance it knows better than to uh, resist me very well. Um, you you get a slight sense that the armor maybe gives like a like, little shudder at that comment. <laughs> she scares me. <clears throat> uh, do you all take um, your places on the platform? Does anyone yeah, yeah. wish to remain behind? Because this is the last yeah, moment split. off this crazy train. Who wants to uh, split the party? <laughs> well, no, it's uh, whoever we... doesn't go on this won't be coming. Did we get a chance to sleep before we got on the platform? Yes, uh, this is in the morning. Yeah, think... Okay, then yeah, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, do yes, a long rest and get my spells reset. Oh yeah, make sure everyone presses the long rest button on your sheet. Yeah, thank you. Which your mythic surge is back. Yeah. Thank you for oh, thank you thank you for reminding me. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, since, since we're uh, you know, Alexanderite's gonna get his uh, sword what ready, uh, put the uh, mask part of the helmet back on, like. Uh, I uh, they will. I guess that would it just be one roll for both of those, or. Uh yeah. All right. No. Ah. Nope, the, the armor is uh, misbehaving. All right, let's try that again. What are you trying to do again? Uh, he, he's... Uh, get my sword out and uh, put the helmet part of the armor back on. There we go. All right, um, so you succeed and uh, you uh, you can add another, uh, another one to your uh, dominance over the armor. Yeah, right in that armor. <laughs> okay, oh, 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 okay, now two way, two ways to do the armor. Uh, uh, roll in that 20 or get it above 30. Potentially, yes. <laughs> All right. Got the Dom part plus two. <laughs> uh, who else has got dominance over? Was it uh, Burn? Yeah, Burn. Yeah, Burn. yeah he, he rolled in that 20, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's fair enough. Alright. Um, it's going to be hard for me to get dominance, though. <laughs> um, with, uh, with that, 
Um, you take your places and your allies join you. Um, the uh, Grand Magos um, also uh, walks and stands in the centre. Um, she does order uh, a few people to move to a different spot as uh, she indicates that uh, you are standing in a position that affects the flows of uh, magic here. Uh, with a few uh, ponies uh, sidestepping to uh, different spots, uh, she begins. Um, you get a sense of strong magical um, energy uh, build up around you um, and you can feel the uh, energy growing in, in intensity. Uh, unlike a normal teleportation spell or anything like that, uh, this spell is clearly taking longer to cast or or is something uh, else entirely. Uh, but you do feel the, uh, the circle uh, that you're standing on. You feel the uh, magical energy sort of heat up underneath your hooves. Um, even through the um, golem armor, you feel sort of the heat of the uh, magic kind of glowing through it, and uh, you get a residual heat from it. Um, that build up um, sort of goes on for a few moments, and um, after probably about a minute of casting, uh, you suddenly feel a sudden rush of magic engulf your bodies uh, to the point it feels like uh, a strong heat around you. A bit like when you open the oven and you feel that wash of heat hit you. Uh, you get a sense of that all around you. After a matter of moments, that passes. The feeling of solid ground has disappeared underneath your hooves and uh, as your vision returns to you um, you are no longer stood on anything and um, you're hurtling towards some very dark looking ominous clouds below you uh, uh, slow uh, very quickly increasing to uh, terminal velocity Uh, sadly, those with armor fall faster. Yeah. I was like, uh, did, did we get the meteor effect? <laughs> well, you are, you're, the armor kind of goes rigid and uh, sort of almost goes into a particular position. You can't really change it too much. Um, everybody else who's not in armor can, you know, move hooves, flail around a bit and, and potentially be a bit more aerodynamic. No, not ever. Oh, well, spread themselves out a bit more to slow themselves to a point. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, you are all free falling towards the ground. Uh, the first thing you see, do see below you is those very dark, ominous purple clouds. Uh, obviously, getting uh, closer as you um, uh, as you're soon to pass through them. Uh, you do see little streaks of um, red uh, within the uh, clouds as clearly uh, the lightning uh, still takes place in that area. Okay. Uh, those of you with armor pass through it first, uh, but um, after a few additional seconds, uh, people without armor then passes through. Uh, anyone who does not have any armor, uh, roll me a reflex save to avoid being struck by uh, lightning. Uh, if you wear metal, um, the DC is increased. Uh, uh, you're wearing armor. You're, you're wearing the golem armor. You're fine. Not not oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm talking you, Alex, because you sound like you were looking for your armor safe. Uh, your no, safe. I was uh, saying I think um, that's mostly Wait, just NPCs that are. No. Yeah. True. Wait, he said anybody who's uh, falling through the clouds roll a reflex save to avoid being hit. Yeah. Yeah. Who's not wearing armor? Who's not wearing the golem armor? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not wearing the golem armor. Yeah, yeah. Reflex. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just actually if you wear like metal armor, the the DC to to beat it is 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 higher. That's why you yeah. might get struck. Mm, okay. Uh, which I don't believe Milk Thistle wears metal armor. I actually haven't looked at what armor you wear. No, he doesn't. I'm I'm not wearing any armor at all. Ah. I thought the lightning storm was just going on around us so intensely I was going to get hit anyway. Uh, nope. There is a chance to avoid uh, certain uh, electricity. Though uh, Thunderclap, uh, true to his name, uh, is getting struck. <laughs> He's been thunderstruck. I uh, should have like picked a uh, picked a better uh, and better name like clumsy. <sighs> and uh, wishful wasn't very wishful. All right, so uh, still is struck. Uh, Swift victory. I think it's fine. Let me just check what he wears. I think he's wearing. I think he's wearing light armor. Yeah, he's wearing wooden armor. He's fine. Um, Katarina. What is your armor? Oh no, you got a chain set, so yeah, you're not okay. So, all right. Um, so oh, and milk for you're fine, obviously. Sweet. All right. So those who fail take fifteen points of electricity damage. Uh, how shocking! Oh, shocking. Uh, thankfully, that's not a whole lot. So. No, 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 I mean, not meant to be like deadly amounts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but everyone just dies before uh, we make it. Make it to the ground, yeah. No, it's not going to be... I mean, it's not too de uh, decimating for... Uh... Uh, did Katarina make it? No, they did not. Uh, Find a clap, you did not. And... Oh, wishful pen. Alright, once you are through the cloud layer, or, well, deeper into it, and you emerge out the bottom, um, it's almost like the sun uh, no longer exists in the sky, given just how dark it feels. Um, you, you, the only thing that really illuminates any of the area around you is the um, lightning that strikes and you see the the red glow of it all in the far distance though there is one other thing that uh acts almost like a beacon below you uh, which is an ominous uh green glow uh roughly directly below you uh where you're obviously falling to as a, a landmark point other than the uh uh other than the red lightning uh, you also get a sense of large creatures moving around in the uh, darkness, though at great distances from where you potentially are currently. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can make out sort of the silhouettes with uh, lightning strikes. Um, perhaps it's one big creature or just lots of, uh, you know, semi big creatures. as you uh, continue to descend uh, towards the ground. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, okay, can we uh, kind of lean more towards the uh, beacon? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where it feels like your, your fall is uh, directed, well, your fall is okay. heading you towards. So that's kind of, unless you move away from that, that's kind of where you're going to sort of almost land. Yeah. Um, you've probably got a few rounds just before um, impact. So, um, casters or oh, anyone not in the armor, uh, you guys do have a chance to uh, semi prepare before you have to uh, utilize your snap leaf and avoid becoming splatted. So, if there's anything you wish to do before you land. I'm guessing that's mostly going to be milk fish at this moment. Yeah. Uh, 
I I don't think I have anything planned other than to just use the snap leave right before we. No, that's fine. Uh, land. Nope. Um, I was just giving you a, a an opportune moment in case there was something you did want to do just prior to your landing. Uh, I tell you what, I will I will cast profanes on fervor right before we activate the snap leaves, just in case we have to get into combat. Uh, that's fine. It's it's because of how dark it is. It's difficult to make out figures directly below you, so you're uncertain if you're about to fall into hostile. Um, Claws. Yeah. Well, I think that people in armor will be your uh, guide for that. <laughs> All right. Um, moments later, um, the armored figures hit the ground with a, a very solid, like, boom, uh, sending uh, what you would have uh, expected um, sand upwards, uh, but you actually hit something hard and solid. Um, you send up um, sort of almost like um, black uh, obsidian up into the air and it sort of rains uh, back down uh, just as the rest of the party uh, would have obviously would have activated their snap leaf uh, to slow their descent um, I think you just have to snap it and it just slows you down doesn't it uh, mm -hmm. it's one around the neck Reach, can it reach it? When falling, you can snap and destroy the leaf and you, as an immediate action to gain the benefit of. Oh. Um, the snap leaf also allows you to become invisible as well. I forgot that element. Oh. Uh, so, um, does anyone wish to land with invisibility? Uh, I mean, we need to land safely, so might as well. Yep. Okay. So, uh, milk thistle, wishful will be invisible. Uh, Steel will opt out of invisibility, and Katarina will also opt out of invisibility. So, uh, let me just make some adjustments to people You're invisible. You're invisible. Okay, I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to activate the map and uh, pull you over. Uh, and I'm going to lessen the intensity of the grid because that feels like that is quite strong. Right, uh, you're all moving over. Welcome to the back rooms. Mm -hmm. Do let me know once you load it in if you can actually see the map. I'm hoping I've set up the lighting correctly. Yeah, I can see the map. Yeah, I can see the map too. Excellent. Oh, Milk Fist okay. was missing. Uh, he's still I can now see the map. Oh man, they're playing Sandstorm. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da oh, did I put music on the thing? Oh, no. No, no, I was just making a joke because it's like a rave. Oh, okay. Alright, um, for those of you invisible, you should have the invisible uh, icon on yourself, so... <clears throat> um, you land. Um, you get a sense of... Um, obviously... Uh, those of you land softly, um, you hit a, a hard surface, um, which is fairly solid, not like the sand uh, that was here uh, once before when you originally uh, came across this location. 
Um, there is the ominous glow coming from uh, up ahead. And um, you can also, uh, in the dim light, uh, make out a familiar looking uh, zebra who does seem a little bit surprised uh, at your sudden appearance. Who is, who is this? Uh, Katarina's mother. Uh, Please, I thought, Joe? Gee, I, thought, I thought you look more like a cultist. <laughs> uh, actually, I realize I didn't put, I didn't change the token's name. It's just, it just uh, says zebra. You hover zebra. over it, you, uh... Yeah, there you go. Uh, you still can't the name, but yeah. Yeah, you should be able to click. Shusha. Yeah. You should be able to click Shusha's on a, her name. You should be able to click on a name now, and you, it should show up at the bottom right. It is still with question mark, question mark, question mark for me. Oh, okay. I haven't. Uh, uh, I pressed the introduce me button. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that should hopefully reveal their name now, so there should no longer be question mark, question mark. Yeah, it did. It did. That's cool. I didn't. Um, I, I didn't know. Oh, forgery had that feature. Uh, it does not. That is a, a module added on. Yeah. <laughs> right. I will unpause you guys, as obviously uh, uh, she is uh, a little bit surprised at your sudden appearance. So you got you've got a moment or two if you want to do anything very quickly. Yeah. Uh, Milk Vessel, uh, Milk Vessel is going to ready the spell Profanes of Fervor. Yep. But he won't cast it yet. Yeah. You. you... Uh, are the people in armor prone? No, you shouldn't be. Okay. No, so no yeah, one should... Alexander wants to get out of the uh, pit of uh, sand that he created. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not deep, um, and it, there okay. wasn't sand. It was actually solid. Um, oh, okay. It was solid. You made a little crater which shot up like the uh, obsidian shards up into the air and rained back down on you. But that's it. Uh, Alexander will uh, will the uh, helmet to uh, reveal his face. Oh, so. you can. Uh, Go for it. <laughs> I mean, you still had a good chance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you, uh, it will reveal your face. Shisha. Uh, we've seen her name. It snaps her out, sort of out of the uh, confusion that uh, might have uh, been on her face for a moment. Uh, as she then uh, calls out to you, <clears throat> you should not be here. Coming here means your death. I hope you have prepared your uh, selves for such fates. We have. Though so I think you would rather. We have someone who would rather talk to you instead of us. I would. Alexander, you, you, you actually know this zebra? It's Katarina's mother. Oh. Um, uh, it looks like hearing, she's... Oh, sorry. Hearing it's, um, hearing it's um, Katarina's mother, uh, Metal just takes one one step back, waiting for Katarina to show up. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, it looks like she was a... She's a, um, about to, you know, cast a spell. Uh, but uh, Katarina will walk up in front of everyone and uh, and basically calls out and goes, uh, Mother, how, how could you lie to me? And uh, that kind of breaks her from her sort of intense sort of, you know, anger concentration what she was uh, looking at uh, the rest of the party uh, and looks sort of quickly to Katerina and goes Kat Katerina we will discuss this once we have finished here I must I must do I, I must uh, remove these uh, uh, trespassers Out of character. Inter interlopers Inter yeah that's the word I'm thinking of must remove these interlopers and um, Katarina takes another step forward and basically uh, gives a very loud uh, shout, very much angry, goes, uh, no mother, we will discuss this now. And he stamps a hoof at her. 
how could you lie to me for so long? Making me think, not telling me of what happened to me. And, uh, and making it so that uh, I was, what I really was, was hidden away. And it took, uh, uh, he gestures a hoof back to you guys. Uh, he sort of, uh, sort of thinks for a moment as he looks to you. And uh, before he uh, settles on, on, on a word, uh, these friends to reveal the truth to me. Uh, at which point he turns back to his mother. He basically takes the necklace, which uh, uh, helped uh, keep him disguised, uh, kind of uh, rips it off and uh, uh, throws it to the floor in front of, uh, in, uh, in front of her hooves. Um, at uh, which point she does give a, a bit of a, a shocking uh, gasp as uh, obviously it doesn't reveal him to be undead it he is still a very much normal living uh, zebra <coughs> um, w she goes what 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 has happened um, as they're conversing uh, the rest of you guys notice, uh, finally notice that uh, there was a, a, a section, uh, well you notice movement just to the uh, left of you where it actually look, looks like uh, things have suddenly started uh, rising out of the ground uh, or sort of rising to, to hoofs. Um, you didn't notice them to, to begin with. Um, as they just were obviously there motionless they look like rubble um, but they stand up very awkwardly like they're out of out of sorts like uh, they were they were like they were laying in ambush but the way they've sort of stood up almost like something sort of jolted them to, into activity and um and they're reacting very slow and sluggishly. Uh, what you can see appears to be um, d a number of different creatures that look very much undead. Um, oh. They will be going to it, uh, though they do look hostile. So, roll your initiatives. All right. Well, well, looks like uh, uh, Alexander, it's your it's your time to. Sh oh wait, oh wait, does your divine smite? Do you still have your divine smite? Uh, hey, I do not have uh, this divine smite. I have uh, vindictive smite okay, now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know, metal uh, banana. If you want to step forward and take some damage, you can do something about that. Can I still move? I thought I was paused. Um, we're we're entering combat now. So once uh, I've. Uh, you want to roll your initiative? I'm going to roll burnts just to give him on the initiative tracker. Can can I uh, do a uh, yeah, put my you, can I put my face uh, back on when the uh, guys jump out? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> it, would that take an action, or is, would it be like that? Would require an action because you've got okay. to concentrate on it. Well, looks like I won't be having that face on played on. That's fine. I will say there's a 20% chance it hits your face if you get any damage. Okay. Just to be fair. All right. Um, all right. Uh, metal. Um, banana. I'm up. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I'm going to charge the first thing I see. Yep. Okay, so I, if I if I go past her, I'll get fucked. So um, wait. I think I get an extra five feet. Uh, yeah, you've got your weapon, ability. your lance is uh, five foot reach. So you just need to be basically within ten feet to hit somebody. So you could literally just yeah. charge forward, yeah. fifteen feet, and be able to do it. 
Yeah, I know. Just, um, I'm checking my ability. I remember it does give me, uh, five additional feet to the attack. Uh, I don't God, well. think anything gives you any more reach than you've already That's got, because having a 15 oh, oh, foot oh, oh, reach oh, would be crazy. Go. And let's roll. Strike with other impacts, increased threat of range of the weapon, in addition, the cavalier gets a free. Charge. Double the threat range of any weapon wielding during a yeah. charge roll. So that basically doubles the critical um, range, that's what it's referring to. So doubles okay. the threat range. That is the the critical range, basically. So you're um, so instead of critting on a uh, a twenty, it will be nineteen twenty. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> now for damage. Go for it. Hey guys, do you think I should power attack it or not? This is a one hit uh, chance. I would say uh, always a like always going for a power attack is generally the better thing for marshals. Okay. Okay, so I get a plus four. Oh, oh wait. Um, before, before I, I also I also use a swift action to. Wait, should I challenge? Do you? Add adds one. And 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 I'll. I will. I will challenge her. Okay, you will challenge her. 11 damage plus... plus... us 4 plus another 6. Or... and... yeah, I think that's it. I believe that is going to hit... yeah. Uh, yeah, that will. Let's see, that's tripled. Yep, that's tripled. So that would be twenty-seven times three. That's eighty-one. Um, they do. Um, your weapon hits them. Um, it doesn't look as effective as it uh, should be. As um, yep, yep. This this hap this happens literally every single time. I'm not new. And it's not new to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. But uh, it still does. Oh, I just realized it was it, it was it was almost a crit. It could have been an eighteen. Uh, it's uh, nineteen uh, twenty, I believe, for your crit range on it. Mm. All right, that was your attack. Uh, yep, that's all I can do. All right. Can't find the end button. Oh, oh no! End turn. Here we go. Oh, you found it. Okay, excellent. Uh, Funder. Uh, Thunderclap is um, it's going to move stealthily. Uh, and see about getting into a, uh, a position to start shooting at the right moment. So if he moves there, that hopefully will... He's hoping for combat to be in that area there. He can uh, prepare. All right. Um, Alexandrite. All right. Uh, question there. Are these evil outsiders? Um, you don't get the sense they are. You get the sense they're undead. All right. All right. So I will uh, still do what I'm going to do. Just want to know because, you know, my weapon, you know, exchanges for... Evil outsiders stuff. It's true, so, but um, yeah. your weapon won't uh, tell you if they are until mm -hmm. you attempt to hurt. Yes, all right. Well, I will attempt to hurt them as I charge up here and slash. Okay. All right. And I will power it. Yep. And roll a uh, fucking two. Uh, that is a miss. Uh, it scrapes off their um, uh, heavily armored body. Oh, okay. It is, it's also undead creatures. Okay. Yeah. So then that will. Ooh, uh, even with the plus four, that will not hit. 
I'm like, should I do a surge? Uh, we, no, we're too early into this to, uh, you know, use up all our surges. Yeah, I mean, it's not like everything's going sideways just yet, so. Yeah. Oh, that's my turn. All right. Uh, Milk Thistle. Um, yes. Gonna, oh, you were reading your action, so uh, anyone who's not in armor should have uh, Profanes of Fervor on them. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, where is... Okay. I was gonna ask, since my face place is down, does uh, the armor uh, negate that, or...? Uh, yeah, no, you're, you're still yeah, resistant to uh, resist magical stuff, I'm afraid. Okay. Alright, so all allies in that circle will get it cast upon them. Yeah. And Except I for our think... armor, bro. And since that's not an attack, I believe I stay invisible, correct? Uh, correct. Uh, that would probably would have happened just at the beginning of combat, because like you said, you were preparing the spell, so you still get your normal actions. That's right. Okay, so... Man, I should have been thinking about that. Okay, um... Oh, um uh, let's see, nobody's taken any damage yet. Oh. Okay, I'm going to prepare another spell. I'm going to prepare Curse Major, and I'm going to prepare to cast it on Shisha if she makes an attack. Uh, it looks like That'll currently her and uh, she's in conversation with her son, so it looks like she's completely oblivious to like the, the fighting that's just broken out. Yeah. She's in cutscene mode. Yeah. She's in cutscene mode? Mm, okay. Curse wouldn't work on any of the undead enemies. Uh, let's see. Rigor Mortis doesn't do damage, but I can, like, move these enemies back. It's not very good. Uh, if I cast Spiritual Ally and it attacks, does that count as me attacking and losing invisibility? No, because that will be your Spiritual Ally attacking, not you. Okay. Then I shall go ahead and do that. I shall cast... Spiritual ally, and I can do that within a hundred feet. So I'm actually going to cast my spiritual ally here in this square. All right, let me find your spiritual ally. There we go. I haven't pulled that out in a little bit. All right, and I believe they get an attack uh, when they're summoned as well. Yes, they do. All right, so targeting this one. Yep. Uh, let's you, see. You do have flanking. It's BAB plus my wisdom modifier, so uh, eight plus ten. All right, so this would be at a plus eighteen. Plus eighteen. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. So, and it's a sight, so that's that's not a critical chance. Uh, that is definitely a hit, though. All right. And not total. Total one D ten plus let's see. Force damage D ten plus one point of damage per three caster levels. Okay, so D ten plus three. If I do roll a critical, it'll be four D ten. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, max damage, alright. And that's force damage if it matters. That is force damage, yes. So uh, that looks super effective. Basically, right. it, it gets past the damage reduction. Alright. So that is Milk Thistle's turn. Uh, uh, burnt. Uh, we're going to go with Burnt, sort of dazed and the impact, um, just because in case something horrendously bad happens, I, I mean to uh, uh, have players who aren't here to potentially get killed. Yeah. Uh, he should be here uh, in about 10 ish minutes. Yeah, so. Or... If, uh, if he arrives in the next tennis minute, I'll move. Uh, he'll get his uh, uh, a go when he shows up. We'll go for that. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome back. All right. Uh, the first of these guys. Right. Um, let's see what they actually will do. Um...
Oh, that's a good, that'd be an interesting one. I think with what they've seen, um, they will move down to here. And they're going to cast uh, this on the oh, yeah. undead griffin looking uh, one. What do you mean cast? That's clearly a marshal. Yeah, they, they cast a spell. Hmm. Could be a magus. Fucking undead paladin. Uh, buffs. Oh, they don't actually have that buff on that sheet. I should have a buff here. Yeah, I'll go here. Activate that. Uh, that's what they will do on their turn. Uh, Steel, where are you? You're there. You, you chose not to be invisible, though. Uh, 50 feet. All right, so you can't move quite far. Uh, so... gonna he's gonna do the sensible thing of uh, double moving to get into position and help uh, sort of focus things so <laughs> okay with that glow he looks like he's got evil eyes now <clears throat> yeah I don't know what this uh, weird light is but it makes everyone look weird when yeah it. well it, it does have it's... that weird I th I effect on you cool. Uh, so, it, 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 as you do sort of enter its radius, you you do get that weird sort of uh, look about your your person. So it is having that sort of effect on you, uh, though you though no in game effects, but it has sort of visual effects. Yeah, no, everyone just you know got radiation. Oh, it actually shows the evil side of the characters. Okay. Um, this one. Evil. They will. Oh, they don't have the buff on them. Ah, oh, I thought I put the buffs. I go to. Oh, I realise there's no combat music. No. Ah, uh, do I want this one? Oh, it's probably going to be loud. Uh, there we go. Buff. Right, um, they will take a step back over this way, and they will then uh, begin to inspire courage. Mm. As they um, sing a, a very grotesque uh, tone in a, a strange uh, tongue. Right, uh, that's what they will do. Um, is there anything else? Uh, no, that's what they're doing this turn. All right. Um, the one you've all been horribly butchering. <coughs> uh, it's their turn, finally. All right. Um, so, all right. So they're going to do a full round attack. Um, they're going to attempt to hit uh, Metal Banana with their lance, and they're going to hoof attack uh, Alexandrite. All right. Oh, oh, a fellow lance user. Bring it on. Yep. Uh, oh, fellow Chucker. <laughs> Let's see. Fellow, fellow Cavalier. Uh, do, 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 they've got that. They've got that. Oh, um. Oh, do I? Oh, I, did I include that? 
include that in the attack. So I just double checking it's uh, there. Action attacks. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, attack roll bonus. Yeah, they've got. They have that, and they also have a bonus to. Two from that. Is that all right? Is that thank you? Save changes. Uh, milk thistle appears to be missing. I don't see him. Oh, did I? Uh, I thought I thought he was invisible because of the leaf leaf yes. shop thing. Um, you might. Yeah, but I, his his icon's completely removed. Um, if you press the tab button, that might switch to your icon. Oh, actually, no. Where are you? Oh, oh, the spiritual ally was set as my icon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that's what I thought might have happened. Yeah, if you press tab, that would switch between you, your, you and your spiritual ally. Oh, there I am. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, when you're not, when you've not got yourself selected, you go, you can't see your, your uh, token because you're invisible. Neat. Yes, it's a. Uh, they actually got that um, buff actually working correctly. All right. I think I've got that attack set up correctly. So the uh, attack of the lance against Metal Banana. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully this will work correctly. Aim. Yeah, so um, hitting you hard. Uh, yep, that's all done correct. Um, just barely hitting you though. Uh, so your but armor mostly... does take some damage. How much? How much does my armor take, and how much do I take? Uh, you will take. Or this... I believe you take none. Uh, so the first one you take was twenty-five. You minus your dr. So you take fifteen points of damage from the first hit. Uh, so you will take fifteen. Yeah, just the armor takes it. So take it off the temporary health. Gotcha. And then. What's the next one? Uh, what is it? 27 damage minus. So 17. Yeah, you take 17 from the second hit. 17. Um, yeah, that will. That won't. It didn't do enough damage to hurt you physically, but it's all taken on the armor. And okay, then, my armor's at 88 now. And then. Uh, my favorite number. <laughs> uh, two hoofs attacks onto Alexandrite. 88? I'm trying to think. Don't you have 120? Uh... Yeah. I took like 15 from the first hit and 17 from the other. That's 32 damage overall. Yeah. Which, yeah. Okay. The math count it works out. I. Four attack on Alex. Told you I was good at math. Ooh. Uh, they did not uh, kick through um, their... Uh... Ooh. Why is that? Uh, that damage shouldn't be that high. Let's see here. Oh, no, it is that high because of that. Um, when the... Um... No, you guys didn't feel the blow, so you wouldn't learn anything different. Uh, but you do get a sense, because you're right, you can see it physically, Alexandrite. Right? Um, when the hoofs strike your armour, um, you get the sense there's definitely like a, a, um, a glow to the hoofs, so there's some sort of imbued, um, unnatural energy to it. Alright. But they miss anyway, or don't penetrate the... Uh, Carapace of the Golem armor. Yeah. Uh, swift victory. Um, what was swift? Um, he's invisible, so he can actually take the opportune moment and try and get into a good striking position. Uh, though he needs to move stealthily, which means he can get to. 
can move directly forward, he can attempt to move, get flanking with someone. Uh, wishful. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. Air effect. Oh. And I'm also forgetting people's um, profane fervor thing. So that is, take that. You've done yours. You've got uh, steel would have taken. I uh, should have done that. For, no, we can't take that because of that. You take that. Uh, wish we were here. All right. Wish we'll go more to the centre. Take that as a profanes of fervor, and we'll cast. Just want to use big stuff just yet, so we'll go for this. Uh, all friendly allies will gain bless. Unless no, you're no, 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 the people in armor, uh, except for the people wearing golem armor. Yeah, that is fair. Template. Uh, technically, that's Katarina as well. Even though he's uh, in discussion with his mother, he can still get less. <laughs> um, still, do where's your best? Bless, bless. Oh, apparently, I haven't given you the bless. Burnt some armor, milk this so I don't need to worry about you, you do yourself. That gets blessed. He gets blessed. I think that's everybody who's not in armor. Alright. Uh, that will be her turn. Ooh, this one. Alright. They are going to unleash some. Uh, unpleasantries on oh. yeah they're, they're gonna put this yeah use that and they're going to put that just no, just there rather annoying um, what is their best bet so they're going to put this right here right uh, they can you can attempt to oh what was that milk crystal oh uh, no oh, okay all right so um, they cast a spell and uh, underneath many of your hooves, uh, large black tentacles spring forth and uh, begin to grapple and wrap around you. Uh, CMD of the tentacles is your caster level, which is that number uh, level as their base attack bonus and receive a Tentacle C and B, the tentacles use a plus level of the uh, plus level of base attack bonus and receive a plus four bonus due to their strength, so that, and plus one the size of that. Roll only once for the entire spell, um, each round, and apply the results to all creatures. Okay, so as it springs forth, um, anyone within the area, it attempts to grapple you. Uh, 27. So does that beat everybody's CMB? 
Uh, just. Yeah, just, just beat it for me as well. Yeah, you're right on the number that you needed to be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, you, if it beats you, you are grappled. All right. Um, yeah, it looks like it just managed to beat uh, most people's. I just, I just picked the grapple effect. Yeah, that works. All right. Um, grapple, there you are. Okay, uh, everybody who has been grappled, you receive six points of damage, which probably uh, won't be anything for those of you in Golem armor. Okay, okay so just to a Golem, not to us. Yeah, well, you would. No, you, the Golem uh, doesn't even take damage. Yeah. Oh, you... okay, just, just to us, okay. Yeah. No, no, not even to you. It, it, your yeah. the damage resistance will uh, absorb all the hits. Yes. Oh, oh. So, okay, so no thought... damage to people in armor. Yeah. At all. Okay. Um, okay. I thought uh, I thought it doesn't work with uh, okay, no. Okay. <sighs> Finally, the Griffin lets out a mighty roar as they throw themselves into a rage. Uh. Oh, apparently... Rage. Do I need to go to that one for the rage? Rage. Alright, activate the rage. There was an error. Okay, we won't activate that rage there. Um, let's try this rage. Does that one work? Okay, there was no error with that one. That works. Okay. Um, taking their uh, great axe in both their claws, uh, they leap forward to just outside of the uh, tentacles and um, attack Alexandrite. All right. Uh, using their weapon in both uh, their, uh, their, both, both their hands. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, do they have anything special? Oh, I thought they did. Uh, obviously not. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so we're going to do a power attack with this. Uh, combat. So, oh, come on, that one. Power attack. Uh, they also going to use a vital strike. Oh, of course. I might be the first to lose my armor. It has to be a single attack because of that. So uh, I'll have to roll the um, vital strike damage as an extra if it hits. Uh, so they take, they do an additional. Is it just one d twenty? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, fucking barbarians. Uh, an extra. I was fucking add... sweaty, sweaty and stupid, but powerful and mus muscular. All right, an extra four damage on top of that from the vital strike. Right. So thirty-nine damage overall. Yeah. So. Let me see if the DR actually applies. Sorry. Um, I'm just gonna check to see if the DR actually applied. Uh. Uh, no, it won't. You have to. You have to do it manually. Okay. So. so I will put put it back to hundred and. Uh, whatever health you were at originally. 120. Uh, you take 29 points of damage after the damage reduction. Yeah. Yeah, 
uh, as the downside, like I said, you have to uh, do the minus directly on top of the uh, yeah. attempt damage. Alright, so 91. Yeah. <clears throat> Armour is looking. Um, oh, back. actually, you need to roll your 20%. Oh, yes, it might hit your face. Yeah. Uh, on a 1 to 20, uh, it goes to your face. Okay. Uh, okay. No, not to your face. Okay, fine. Uh, good job I didn't go the other way around. <laughs> I was going to say, I actually have more hit points than the armor, so... Ah, true. Alright, um... Back to the top of the round. Okay, Alexandroid and Metal Banana, if y'all are willing to hold your turns, I can cast a spell magic on the Black Tentacles and hopefully free y'all. I would be glad to do that. Me too. All right. Uh, so I will. Oh, I forgot. I don't. Know. I need to find that module where I can just drag you. So you are delaying your turn until after Milk Thistle. So mm -hmm. that is going to update. You're going to be nineteen point zero two. Enter. Oh, back up. Um. Uh, why am I fourth now? <laughs> Because, because you, you're holding your action, you're holding your action okay. until after Milk Thistle. Is that like uh, temporary or permanently? That's permanently. No, that's for the that's entire thing. Good. Yeah. Okay. But it's still worth it. Yeah, we don't have any enemies attacking um, before your turn, so it'll it'll still just uh, be allies open. Yeah. Um, Thunderclap is going to attempt. Uh, to take a shot while grappled and being flung around. Um, this will... Uh, because he, he can. Um, it's very difficult, but he can try it. Uh, I believe he can... Yeah, because it counts as a one-handed weapon for his purposes. Um, so he can do a four-round attack. Uh, he's in point blank range. Uh, what features do you have, mate? You have deadly aim, so we can do that. Your precise shot, we know. Yes, you can reload quick enough to get a rapid shot off. And do you have many shot? No. Alright, full attack. And he's going to take the additional bonuses to hit and his reflex save and everything like that. Because he can't get four shots off, he can only get three shots off max. <laughs> and he's aiming for the um, the griffin. Uh, fire. Oh, success. Now I need to find him again so I can make him no longer invisible. Uh, you're now visible. Bing. Uh, now, now, we have, now look at the what he rolled. Uh, 17, 14, 20. Yeah, it's probably going to all hit given it's a barbarian and uh, raging. Uh, yes, all of those hit. Um, they are raging, so they do get... No, it's always the highest one. All right, so uh, the weapon doesn't look as uh, effective, but um, it still does a good amount of damage. Or oh, does he have a cluster shot is the big question. No, he doesn't have cluster shot. Okay. Do a load of math. So he does, hits the target and does that much damage. Blam. Uh, this griffin clearly has a, a, a lot of body strength to it. Uh, Alexandrite. Yes. 
Uh, you I'm holding my turn. All right, update. You go on. Okay. Actually, uh, I can still attack it, couldn't I? Uh, you can. You just take take the penalties what come with grappled. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what those are again. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's it's a minus two to hit. But yeah, uh, I'll uh, you know. Yeah, wait till milk yeah. You wait. You wait yeah. until milk whistle. Okay, let me update. So you will go to nineteen. Plus one save lives, though. Yeah, you go to nineteen point zero one because you will be after uh, milk banana, and then we are on milk thistle's turn. Milk thistle is going to first cast the spell magic on the black tentacles. Okay. All right, and. You need a caster level roll for me, correct? Uh, I'm just gonna refresh myself with this. I believe it is. Yes, it's uh, your caster level. Uh, do you want to add a surge? Actually, well, let me check to make sure if that's a good enough first. Um, blah, 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 blah. So it's here we go. Compare it to the caster level. So it's 11 plus the. Uh, DC is 11 plus the caster level's level. Okay. They are. Uh, okay. Would you. Um, at the moment, you are failing. Okay. Um, I have Eldritch Breach, which, for the sake of uh, dispelling effects, Ooh. allows me to roll that again and take the higher result. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. And just to be safe, I will add a d6 search to this as well. Yeah, I, I need to. Are you actually rolling d8s right. now? Yes, one d8. Uh, you should just better click uh, the surge on your sheet, and that should do it for you. And it reduces it as well. At least. I've... Oh, you've. Oh. Uh, okay, so not the d6, the d8, so minus one. Minus one. Okay, well, so you... that brings it to 28. You successfully dispel the tentacles. Woo. Excellent. Uh, no. All right. Everyone removed the grappled condition. Yeah. And then my spiritual ally, um, he is going to take a five foot step and he's going to do a four round attack on the Griffin Barbarian. Okie dokie. And so since it's full BAB, I actually get two attacks with them. So. All right. Uh, you should be able to move your spiritual. Oh, yeah, again. Oh, I can. Very nice. Okay. So first attack. Uh, I'm pretty 29. Certain, pretty certain that hits. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. It's minus five from that. Okay, this one will be plus 13. Uh, miss. Uh, that will also hit. It will hit. Okay, nice. Yeah. Well, the raging nice. is uh, affecting the AC, so. All right, this will be 2d8 plus 6 total. Oh, max damage. Let's go. All right, you... so yeah, he takes 22 points of force damage, and that is no full uh, All of that damage goes through, and uh, they're looking uh, injured. All right, excellent turn. Okay, uh, I'll try to finish off the cavalier in front of me. All right. Okay, and this will be a full round attack, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can do a full round attack with your lance. Okay, let me see. Should check this before I'm an idiot. Uh, you have challenged them. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that that's right. You're right. Is it? Nice mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Successfully target lands as a swift action, and then uh, last for one round. Target lands as a swift action. Yeah. The bonus lasts for one round. 
Okay, maybe not for now. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'll attack, because why not? Yeah. Um, am I flanking any chance? Yes, you are. Okay, what's the bonus? I think, uh, plus two. And I, I do. You, I think you actually get a plus four uh, to flank uh, because of yeah, yeah. you have outflank. Yeah, I have a bonus. Yeah, you have plus four instead of plus two. Okay, full round attack. Uh, first one does Got miss. I'm afraid. One. Second one, I believe, hits. Yep. Uh, second and third one all hit. Nice. Uh, so um, that is that much damage for that one, and then the final one you take that they take that much damage. Looking, barely holding on. Uh, should have should have not rolled in that one. Should've, should've I was gonna say I, you still have your five foot, and I think you can hit them with your hooves. Can I? Yes, that is something you can oh, do. Again? Yeah. yeah, because at any point right. during your uh, full round attack, you can take a five foot step. So you can then you you can use your your lance, five foot step in, and then use your hoofs. Okay. <laughs> this, uh... And and this also does count as flanking with my spiritual ally. You, you are yes, still are flanking. Yeah. That's. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, overpowered. Oh yeah, I also, also get a plus two scat attack and bonus because of the horseshoes. Uh, yep, that should that should be included in uh, the attack already. <laughs> and it also applies to challenge. Fuck it out, Cavalier is OP when you build it right. <laughs> well, it, all it takes is the right sets of circumstances and the fact that you've got your lance attack and hoof attack to really uh, boost you. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. How do I want oh. to make that one? <laughs> uh, you've got some cursed dice there. Yeah, I was like, did you piss off a leprechaun? <laughs> Jesus. I do... I do mouth... mouth, mouth talk the, uh, uh, the god of luck a lot. <laughs> calling him a lot of nasty words. I probably he's doing it for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You're oh, going for the turn. closer I... blow. You, you, you get a sudden sense that you might know this pony, and it puts you off slightly. <laughs> well, do I recognize that? <laughs> well, you might do. Okay. Um, Alright. Oh, Alex. Yes, Alexandrite is going to uh, vindictive strike the uh, barbarian. Okay. Uh, okay. Fuck barbarians. <laughs> so I throw that down. Three. Throw my buff on. Hello. Hello. Is that a burn? No, but... Oh, he yeah, wasn't yeah, here a moment ago. I didn't see. All right, well, carry on your turn. Hopefully right. we'll be back in a second. Yes, and then I will full round attack, and uh, yep. hopefully you hurt yep. this guy a lot. All right, let's have a look. Uh, oh, scroll down, because it didn't do... Ooh, um, sadly the 11 will not hit. Uh, you know what, I'm going to spend a surge on that one. Okay. Because, uh... Oh wait, um, okay. before you do that, don't you get mm -hmm. a plus, you get, because you used, his, you used um, Vindictive um, thing, doesn't that give you extra oh, yeah. to yes, hit? Yes, that would. It's, yeah. Is it a plus five? Uh, no, that's damage. It is, yes. Plus five to the attack. Oh yeah, and plus and ten, ten to the damage. Okay, so that will that will hit with a plus five. Okay, cool. All right, so I've got to 
I've got to do some uh, math in here. All right. And uh, uh, let me roll my uh, yeah, Hold on. Let me. Uh... Sorry. Oh, hello, Ben. Sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me uh, jump in when you're ready. Um, it'll be your turn in a moment, actually. Yeah, I, I'm getting there. I try joining via Discord, and it's like, oh, hey, the RTC is connecting forever. It's like, god dang it. That's fine. Uh, I now just sit, need to sit and do mapping. Let me just see uh, if the target smite has recently uh, rendered an ally of it unconscious or dead within the last 24 hours. The bonus on the damage roll for the okay, so no one's unconscious yeah. or damaged, so it's just plus ten to the mm -hmm. damage so far. So that's fifty-three to the first one. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, the damage the sword deals double. Uh, I think oh, I think that's already applied. Uh, yeah. Oh, what the plus ten? Uh. No, for the um, sacred bonus uh, part under the uh, oh the, the, the oh. second little category. Oh yeah, the, uh, against sorry. evil creatures, its sacred bonus is a plus four against uh, negative plane um, creatures or undead creatures. The sword deals uh, double damage and times three on critical hits instead of the usual. Yeah, okay, sword. it's already applied the uh, double damage. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for uh, Foundry to load up. Alright. Uh, so that'll be that. Ooh. Oh, no, I just I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so bad he got knocked back. Uh, 29. Ooh. Wow. Uh, with that s single attack, um, you basically smash the um, uh, griffin to the ground. All right. <laughs> Who wants some? Um, I assume you will turn your hoofs against that yeah. person. Um, they none of them will hit. Okay. Well, then I will take a five foot step over here. All right. Are uh, you almost loaded in, Ben? Uh, I'm waiting to get in. It's like really slow for some reason. Yeah. I'm gonna move burn a bit closer just to be friendly and nice. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. That's fine. Uh, to catch you up, we are fighting undead uh, things while uh, Katarina and Tisha are having a conversation. <laughs> oh, so, are we... yeah. Oh, so like... what? Sorry. Go ahead. What? Uh... <laughs> Have we teleported at all, or is it yes. like an We we did uh, the preparations and uh, teleported to uh, the final countdown. Oh, so we did the uh, the Spartan thing and just you know fell through there. Got it. Yeah. Um, dang it, Foundry, hurry up. Uh, uh, okay. Um, God, I, I hate. shot of uh, what we're seeing. Uh, yeah, sure. It, until I get in. I don't know why it's taken so dang long. It was working. Oh, now I'm in. Okay. Right well, as I say that. Uh, give me a couple moments to load the map. Alright. Yeah. So we, we're fighting a bunch of undead things, huh? Yes. Yeah, and, um... And a metal, metal might or might not know no one of them. Oh. Oh no. If I think what it is, I think we're all fucked. <laughs> uh, I am in the map. Let me try to get to where I can see myself. That is all right. That's where I'm at. I'm not showing up. Oh, I, see. oh, I see where I'm at. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is dark. So. Yes. Uh, so, okay, let's see. The enemy is over there. There's one over there. All right. So I'm guessing the green ones are our uh, allies. Oh, okay. I see. That's that's not a 
ally. That's uh, the thing that North Thistle likes using. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Foundry. Stop, stop being... Stop having issues. Uh, I, I just killed the Griffin. <laughs> Basically, yeah, right. Alright, uh, let me double check my movement speed. I've been... Your movement speed oh. is 50 feet because of um, All right. bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, so... In that case... Yeah, you've... I am... Oh, oh. oh. You move back. Yeah, you, you should. Oh, stop moving for a second. Uh, you should be there. All right. So it's gonna be five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, okay, that thing is dead. So I don't need to worry yeah, about that. So you're in Alexander Square, also. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, has have weapons been drawn? Yes. On burned. If not these, huh? Um, weapons. Uh, you, I would assume you would have a weapon prepared, given that you knew you were going. Yeah. In. So. Yeah, um, it's gonna be his uh, adamantine uh, bastard sword. All right. Just so, so you know, yeah. um, before you, mm -hmm. um, you going, you doing that f that movement down to there to there, uh, that will provoke an attack of opportunity from this one with their lance. All right. Go on ahead. Uh, they did power attack last time, so it's single attack. Ooh, that probably will miss. Oh, that misses. Yeah, that will miss. So, yeah, he sees this one, which I'm assuming that's an undead. Yes. So, yeah, no, he uh, he is going to uh, strike at the monster. Oh, wait, that's not why I wanted to click. Nope. So this is single attack. <clears throat> Oof. Uh, 20, oh god 22 let's have a look um you just meet its ac Woo! well done at 13 damage um, and for my last thing i'm gonna challenge it okay probably should have done that first i yeah i should have done that first but you know hindsight today has been 2020 yeah, yeah. and that's that, a space for me too yeah, so that that's my turn then. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go to uh, the one you just attacked. Goody. All right. What will they do to you? Um, they did that. change that. Oh, sorry, I have been doing that. I was just turning the volume down a bit. No, that's fine. Alright, so they're going to attempt something which they won't know will not work because, well, why would they? Alright, so they will cast this defensively before I do anything. Uh, yep, they're going to be good. They cast this and will attempt to touch you. Alright, so this is the wall save. Um, no, they've got to touch you first. Ah. Uh, let's see, that is... Yeah, that meets it. Yep, so you're fine, because it's a magical effect. Oh. Because of you you're you wearing the golem armor, aren't you? No, oh, that's right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it feels so, so weird today. <laughs> uh, you go, it, it touches you, but uh, the uh, golem armor eats it. They're going to take a five foot step back. I'm hard. Um, Steel's turn. Uh, Steel's gonna. Uh, 
uh, he can see how weak that thing is. Um, he's going to he's gonna make a single attack and then he's going to uh, move. So he thinks he can finish it off in one attack. So, single. Uh, 29, I'm pretty sure that hits. Yes, that hits. Uh, the weapon seems uh, very effective. And that one will go down. Then he's going to move to... There. Um, this one's turn. Uh, what are they going to try and do? They are. Um, they're a lot more limited now. What are they going to do? Defensive spell seems sensible. All right, cast defensively. Ooh, not too good. Um, that is a level two spell they wanted to cast, so they can get it off. So they are using this, and they get four images. I'm going to put four there just to so I know they've got four. They will five foot step to here, I think. Uh, swift victory. I uh, he's going to come in at a charge. Uh, so, and he's going to draw his weapon. And he will challenge. So he is going to do that. Challenge. Uh, he's got bless. Uh, he will. He will do that because he can. He's got the quick draw style. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, he he can use his uh, special strike to uh, do extra damage as well. Uh, do you have power attack? No, I didn't think you did. Single attack. Oh, and I'm going to add the charge bonus. So as long as he hits, he does quite a bit of damage. Uh, 28. Yeah, that's definitely hit as he strikes upwards. Uh, doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, putting it down to injured. Uh, wishful pen. Um, is anyone, anyone hurt? I don't think so. Uh, she's going to move to here. And she's going to channel positive energy to hurt undead. So they need to make a. Uh, are they all in? I hope they. Yeah, they're all in. So they need to make each a will save. I thought it would be higher than that, but. Oh, and apparently I had wishful pen selected, which you won't have to do her own save. Uh, they will all save, so they will take half damage. Well, and still half damage. She was still more than. Uh, yeah. Oh. No damage. Um, what's yeah, that? definitely. Half a 15, five of 2, 7. Uh, so, minus 7. 
I mean, they're still over three creatures. That's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, still net positive. All right. Uh, gets them up or down. Uh, this one. Hmm. They need to pull out some bigger guns, I think. Uh, everything in front of them is not a friend. Okay, so they're going to do this spell. As a uh, a cone of um, cold blasts out in front of them, uh, everybody except for Milk Thistle, which is kind of funny. Um, oh, and uh, Swift Victory rolls me a will save. Uh, sorry, not will save, Love reflex it. save. Okay, I was okay. gonna say like. I need to select myself some NPCs. I think that's all my NPCs. Uh, that's a 19 for me. Uh, the DC is 21. Alright. I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna walk search then. Try to yeah, avoid it. Uh, Three or higher. Three or higher. Come on. Yes! I passed! Alright. So, uh, on a success, um, you take uh, extreme cold or in your hand and outwards. Uh, it deals, it drains heat, dealing cold damage per gas level. Uh, you take half if you succeed your reflex save. Um, right in our. If, does the armor take cold damage? Uh, the the golem armor will protect you in this instance. Okay. So right. you won't take any because it's uh, immune to magic. Right. So okay. right, we have to put that okay, in our can, uh, can I uh, w w remove my uh, surge because yeah. I didn't need it? Yeah, you can. Uh, right, cool. So burnt's fine. Alexandrite's fine. Uh, Melt Banana's fine. Uh, Katarina will take half damage. Um, How much was half damage? I'm sorry. You don't take any because you're wearing the armor. Right. All right. Uh, Katarina took a lot of damage there. Uh, Mum also wasn't expecting it. Um, so you we idiots! Then... It's it's attack the ponies, not me. Um, wish wish. Oh, there's wishful pen. Wishful pen takes half. Um, thunderclap takes half. That should be everybody. All right. And obviously the, um, I don't think your uh, unseen servant takes damage, does it? Uh, it has to. Oh wait, hang on. So it can take damage, but it's got to be uh, something that can affect an ethereal creature, which mm -hmm. magic can. Yeah. Okay, so I, I... roll a reflex save for it. All right, so that will means it would take full damage because it's an inferior creature. It means it would take half damage, uh, but that is still going to be thirty-two damage. I'm pretty sure it is dead because it doesn't have that much, that many hit points. Um, let's see. Let's touch attack is ten. Uh, if an attack creature has still reset. Okay, no, that's not the. Uh, can bypass to your. Can make an attack. Okay, where's the health of the spiritual ally? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm looking through the spell right now. And I'm pretty sure it has a health pool that's, like, very okay. low. Um, let's have a look. But uh, I'm not seeing it here. Um, spectral Allied carries weight, one favorite weapon, range... Let's see. Eight, Dispel yeah. magic, disintegrated spirit, and annihilation, or erotic cancellation affects it. Okay. Being a construct of force, the spiritual ally cannot be harmed by any physical attacks, but dispel magic, disintegrate, sphere of annihilation, or rod of cancellation affects it. So I guess it's not affected by magic attacks? Yeah, I'm guessing so, based on that. Because I'm assuming those would just destroy outright then, those. Yeah. I mean, it. Okay, so yeah, my ally doesn't take any damage. Yeah, if an attack has spell resistance, you, you can make a. Da -da -da. The ally succeeds. That's... Resist the spell is spelled. If not, the weapon has normal effects on that creature for the duration of the spell. That's when the spiritual ally attacks uh, something with spell resistance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, because it's, it's not giving you any health, so it means that I would have thought um, only those ones would basically be able to harm it, which would then then destroy it because those are pretty um, pretty um, destroying spells dispel magic makes sense disintegrate disintegrates things S sphere of annihilation annihilates um, I right, anyway that was their turn uh, they blasted out an area of cold which um, uh, was actually pretty nasty at least to the those of you who were uh, not wearing armor Milfis was just safe. Um, with that, um, uh, Shisha will suddenly uh, turn to all of them and shout, uh, will call out, en <clears throat> Enough! And they will all just collapse to the ground. Is combat over? Um, Meta would take a closer look to the undead cavalier. Oh, uh, you may. Uh, oh. They should be more XP than that. Oh, wait. Oh, I know what it's doing, right. <laughs> Did that work out the XP correct? That much divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of you. Yeah, because Katarina wasn't taken part in this. I will stop the music. Um, so you all will gain uh, this much XP. Are we close to a stopping point? Because I, I just wanted to cast heal on Katarina before we ended. Um, um, that's in a different language. Yeah, I noticed yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. <laughs> Sylvan is not spoken by the entire party. <laughs> there we go. 3,000 XP. Wait. Awesome. That's actually, we're getting close. Uh, how long do you have Milk Thistle? Um, like maybe five or six minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, before the next bit was definitely going to take longer than five or six minutes. Uh, so we will probably finish it off. Um, finish that. The, the bit after this combat um, next session.
because uh, there'll be a quite a bit of role play and and um, and then some potential big things. Um, depending on this next bit, um, no, we'll save it for next week. <clears throat> yeah, just actually, there's actually like, there's like a quick thing just in case I forget next week. Uh, does Metal recognize the undead Kirk Cavalier? Uh, did you? Um, you you get the sense that you do, but you can't put your hoof on it. Will I have to make a check? No, you, you. It's just that sort of niggling feeling at the back of your mind. You 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 feel like you know them, but you can't work out where from. Hmm. Yeah, sorry I was late, guys. Work was uh It's all good, man. No, it's all right. I mean at least I'm off next Friday. Well that's good. I think. Yeah. And next week I should probably start practicing for the uh, convention. But yeah. Right, so yeah, yeah, I I just got called into work at the last minute, so I have to go. Oh no, that's fine. We're like I said, we're at a stopping point. Uh, all right, ciao guys. I'm great great Zane. Good playing with you, Evie. Yeah, take care. Great rolls today. Um, next session there might be some um big things. So with you being there, burnt, that's actually really good. Yeah, I'll double check my uh my schedule uh later tonight when I go pick up a friend. So, because I don't want to see him walking home in the rain. Okay. That's fair enough. Well, to to give you a quick rundown, we we spent the start of the session getting the last few items we needed. Uh, there was a feast prepared for us. Uh, we got a full day's rest. And then we went up to the uh, the elevator to be lifted back up to the Grand Magus's uh, quarters, and mm -hmm. she she teleported us directly over where we needed to fall, and so we we sank like so far, went through this massive lightning storm, and um, activated our snap leaves, and that permitted us to to fall right here in front of Shisha. Shisha was right here. <laughs> So Katarina got in her face demanding to know why she had been lying to him this entire time, ripped off his necklace that was uh, uh, being used to magically cover up that he was undead. And since it didn't change his appearance, it showed her that he's very much alive. Oh. So she, yeah. And then she says, we will discuss this after I deal with these interlopers. And a bunch of undead enemies uh, popped up from the ground and we fought them, and you joined us right at the end of combat. So we had a little bit of a mother-son drama there. I mean, that's still technically just, going on. Yeah, yeah just, just a brief moment. We'll probably jump back into that uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Katarina, we did do the... Sorry. But Katarina is extremely angry, and he's demanding answers. I mean, he has every right to be extremely angry and to be demanding answers. Like... In his shoes, I'd be doing the exact fucking same. So we did essentially do the uh, the Spartan uh, falling through the air before we hit the ground. Yep. Thing. Yeah, it was it was pretty epic. Oh god, dang it! Fuck my job. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. God damn it. God bless it. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I'm just. Today's been a day. Well, like we had the district manager come I will, in. I will end. And he made a. I will end the stream there. Oh, sorry. So sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you next time on the end times. Avi, Zan. Have a great one, guys. Bye.